I thought I'd use this time to film a review of my phone. It is a BlackBerry Bold 9650. And in this review we will be looking on hardware, uh, taking a brief look at the software, and then we'll get a little bit more in-depth with it, and check out some of the apps and uh, uh, software that it runs. So let's get started. So on the front of the device here, we have the BlackBerry logo, your LED, of course the screen, it is 480 by 360 resolution, so it is 480 pixels across and 360 uh, tall. Have your send and end keys, BlackBerry or menu button, back button, as well as the trackpad and enter button. Let's have a full QWERTY keyboard with these um, chrome frets, and as you can see from different angles, the keys do have some definition between them, so when you're typing, it is easy to feel what key you're actually pressing. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of split down the middle. The keys on the left side are angled like that, and the ones on the right were kind of like that. Um, you do have your Verizon logo down here as well. On the top of the device, we have our lock key and our mute key, and also play and pause for music. Um, on, on the left side, we have a speaker and a microphone, dedicated convenience key. And then on the right side, we have our charging port, another convenience key, and volume toggle. And also a 3.5mm headset jack. On the back of the device, we have our camera, the LED flash, the bold logo. And right here, we have our battery door. We do have two charging contacts down here. You can see the the pattern on the on the um, battery door, and the whole device is surrounded in this chrome finish with this rubber finish. So if we take a look here at the device, uh, we'll go ahead and check out the uh, the version. It is running. Uh, BlackBerry 6.0.0.719 currently. Um, also, I did need to mention it is a world phone. You do have the battery right here, have your SIM card, and micro SD card. Uh, one thing I personally like, personally like is you do not have to remove the battery to access the memory card or to even see the SIM card and memory card. It's all right there, which is nice. So taking a look at BlackBerry OS 6, there's many ways to navigate around it. And you do have these different panels here. You have, hold on, do you have all right there? Favorites, media, downloads, frequent, and back to all. Now you can of course set which which icons are here on your home screen. I have text messages, messages, memo pad, calculator, Blackberry news feeds, and the weather channel. Up here at the top you have a shortcut to manage connections, alarm, just various options dealing with connections. You have your notification bar right here. Different sound profiles. Also, you can change and edit those. And right here, we have a shortcut for launching Universal Search. Checking out the apps here. Uh, here's your text messaging app. Go ahead and go into this one, and you can see, you can scroll through here. Also, you can add different um, faces and different symbols. Or if you type in a certain combination that it recognizes, it will automatically put in the symbol. You can scroll through here, and if you hit the letter T, it brings you back up to the top. Also, you've got your messages here. 
have your notepad calculator and this is an app I downloaded called Blackberry News Feeds you add different um, sources of news and you have different feeds that show up in here Well, we'll go ahead and check out the Blackberry app world right now. It takes a while to load. Okay, here we go. Have your different categories down here. Also, featured or sponsored apps that show up here. And the previews and um, icons do show up eventually. Also, you can search by typing in here. Now, with BlackBerry, uh, you do have apps running all the time. Um, you have, of course, the home screen, messages, BBM, phone, and browser always running. And if we open up another app, let's say we have the calculator, and we also want to open up um, contacts. Now if we go into let's say the calendar, uh, if we're finished in the calendar you simply hit escape. Um, many people make the mistake of hitting end which that just brings you back to the home screen. That doesn't actually close the app so you have all these apps open. Uh, personally I do like this as you can have multiple apps running simultaneously uh, so if you want to multitask, it's great because you don't have to close the app and then go back into it. Uh, like I said, hitting end goes back to the home screen. And if you hold down the menu button, it does bring up the um, application switcher. Go ahead and close the calculator. And we'll close the calendar as well. Uh, here's your web browser. Do you have tabs? And you also have your favorites here. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up Google. And you can see it um, doesn't load quickly, but it's, it's quite a bit faster than previous versions of the BlackBerry operating system. Gonna close that. Also, you do have a Facebook app on here as well. And YouTube, which um, doesn't really work very well. Uh, it always fails to upload videos. My cat is on the uh, on the table here. So that was a quick look at the BlackBerry operating system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, some cl some complaints I do have about the phone is it it does freeze up quite often. Um, and also, sometimes when you hit a button to um, make the display show up, uh, sometimes it um, it fails to work as well as it should. And it can take sometimes up to 10 or 15 seconds for the display to show up. Also, the same thing with the lock button. As you can see right now, it's not doing that. But sometimes it does uh, uh, react quite slowly to that. Also, if you're downloading an app, okay, you see there, it's... There it is. Um, also, if you're downloading downloading an app from the app world and trying to um, multitask, do other things, it does react very slowly and um, a lot of times just freezes up for like 20 or 30 seconds at a time. Um, also, we'll go ahead and check to see the memory about this phone. Uh, you do launch Universal Search just by simply typing from the home screen. Uh, we'll go into Storage. Um, here's some of the uh, specs here. You have 180 gig. I have 180 gigs of free space, or 180 megs of free space on the device. I currently have an 8 gig memory card in there. Um, also, you can change what's up here when you search. You go here into option. Or no, search options. And you can change change what you'd like to search. I'm in my basement right now, so it doesn't find the network. But there you go, that's a quick look at the BlackBerry Bowl 9650. Uh, it's my first review of a phone, so if it's not very good, which I don't think it probably will be, but 
if it's not very good, uh, that's why. It's my first review of phone, and I do plan on doing more, um, more electronic-based reviews in the future.